Raiders hosting the Chiefs, and the Chiefs are eight and a half to nine and a half point favorites. The over under is at 52. The Chiefs, I have at minus 450 on the money line, and I have the Raiders at plus 350. The Chiefs are on a four game winning streak. The Raiders are on a two game losing streak. The Chiefs head to head are on a four game winning streak against the Raiders. They are nine and one against the Raiders in their last 10 meetings. The favorite is 6-4 and four against the spread, while the favorite is 9-1 and one on the money line. The over has hit in their last five games. The over is 6-4 and four in their last 10, and the over at 52 is 6-4. and four. The home team is 5-5. Five and five. Now, the Chiefs are 4-11-1 against the spread. The over-under is 8-8 eight and eight in the games in which they've played in this year, and they are 6-2 and two on the road this season. The Raiders are 8-8 eight and eight against the spread. The over-under is also 8-8 eight and eight in the games in which they played in, and they are 4-3 at home. Now, I understand that they could play spoilers to the, Raid, uh, to the Chiefs, so I'm not going to sleep on this. And the Chiefs have not covered their last, wow. They didn't cover the last game that they played, and they only have covered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. One out of their last seven games that they've played, while the Raiders have covered one, two, three, four, four out of the last six games that they've played. So it's just food for thought. Even though the Raiders are bad, they might still cover this game. Now, the last game that they played, the Chiefs won 30 to 29. The game before that, the Chiefs won 48 to 9. The game before that, the Chiefs won 41 to 14. The game before that, the Chiefs won 35 31. The game before that, the Raiders won. 40 to 32, and that was on October 11th of 2020. That was the Raiders' only win in their last 10 meetings against the Chiefs. I'm going to take the Chiefs with the money line because this game does mean something to them. I'm going to take the Raiders with the nine and a half points because I think at some point the Chiefs will let off the gas and the Raiders will keep this game closer than it probably should be. And I'm going to go under because I don't think with the backup quarterback that the Raiders are going to put up that amount of points, but I could be entirely wrong. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.